Greetings everybody and welcome to my video. Tonight I wanted to uh, go over the situation with the wall wart and what I believe is happening. Um, this is a wall wart that I tore apart about two years ago. Um, it's a, basically just a transformer. Um, 120 volt to 12 volt transformer and actually this one here has a five position switch and it's got various taps here so it goes from like three volts to twelve volts um, you know by sliding the, that up and um, so what we have there is a little uh, bridge rectifier a resistor and a cap it's a 16 volt 2200 microfarad cap um, but this is the what the inside of a wall uh, what it looks like wall transformer basically except for this switch right here that's the only different thing but basically it's the same thing now if we look at this we see that there is no electrical connection between this coil and this coil it is only induction through the core okay so when we are pulsing our circuit we're not sending any energy back to the grid from the output of the circuit. We're not sending any energy from this circuit back to the grid. None. All we're doing is shutting off and turning on this coil and this one and all the coils that are in there and any other coils that you have here. You're turning it off and on. So now as we know when you turn a coil off, the magnetic field collapses and uh, induction takes place in the wire due to the collapse of the magnetic field. Okay, so all we're doing is turning this coil off and on. And that coil is producing the back spike and feeding the house or up to the meter. It's that's what's putting the energy back out to the meter not the output of this there's no electrical connection to do that okay there's no electrical connection between here and here it is only because we are turning the circuit on and off whichever circuit you use you can use a Bedini circuit you could use read switches you could use hall sensors you could use brushes um, whatever you could use uh, a solid state uh, set up it doesn't matter as long as you make a pulse that's all you need to do is make a pulse now the crisper you shut the pulse off the better the spike is going to be okay so that's important a crisp disconnect of the coil will give you a better back spike okay um, so basically that's what I you know wanted to say there's there's no I mean just because we're sending energy into a battery and whatever or, you know hydrogen generator or a capacitor or salt water capacitor doesn't matter that energy does not go back to the grid it does not there's no electrical connection to make that energy go anywhere except for your battery or whatever your output sink is whatever you're using to put that output energy into but it's not going back to the grid because there's no there's no electrical connection to make that happen it's impossible okay it's only through an uh, uh, induction that the thing works at all and when you shut the circuit off it sends a, a spike out of this coil it sends a spike out of that coil and if I'm pulsing it with that coil it'll send a spike from that coil of course that spike from that coil comes into the circuit and then goes into the battery or or the salt water capacitor or whatever I have for my output but it does not go back through here because it, it can't so it is only by shutting the circuit on and off that's inducing you know the back spike in this coil right here which is going to the grid if this, there's, there's a back spike into this coil right here now of course it's going to induce a little bit in here because it's going to be kind of dirty okay but not much to uh, uh, 
at all really compared to just shutting it down and turning on you know shutting it off and turning it on shutting it off and turning it on is going to give you that's what all oh, that's where the energy is coming from it's just pulsing it so all we're doing is pulsing this coil and then sending it back out to the grid because we can't go this way with it it has to go that way it has to go back out to the grid because there's no electrical connection to take it anywhere else okay so um, I hope that helps I know this is kind of a different one but it shows you know what the inside of the wall wart looks like as far as as the coils go the transformer itself okay so uh, you know it does it does you know shows what I want to show there's no electrical connection so the energy can't go back through it's all coming from this coil pulsing and we're using our pulse circuit to pulse this coil and that's where all the energy is coming from is this coil right here as far as the anomaly with the uh, electrical meters go okay so um, and I want to say uh, thanks everybody uh, for uh, all my new subscribers and uh, my uh, channel is really uh, starting to grow which is nice get uh, more people involved in this uh, as many people as we can the more people that know about it the safer I am thank you very much um, and uh, all the kind words uh, you know wonderful comments everybody's just uh, thrilled about it and I'm, I'm glad to help out any way I can um, it was one of the reasons why I'm going to post this so that everybody understands what's what's actually happening here because everybody's saying well this energy that you're coming from the output you're putting back into the grid no that's not what's happening it is impossible to put that energy into the grid except for what is sent back through the system there might be a small induction uh, from this back spike say from this coil here but it will end here and it is only through induction that any of that energy would ever see this side there's no direct electrical connection whatsoever okay so um, I guess that's that again thank you everybody for all the kind words Angus uh, out there he's, he's uh, doing a good job uh, getting, the, getting the word out um, so hopefully uh, you know like I said uh, um, everybody's starting to post videos wonderful uh, can't wait to see their progress as they go everybody's getting everything hooked up but it's going to take a while before we get any actual results uh, back from anything because uh, we got to get some run times down but uh, wonderful wonderful uh, just having a great time with uh, all of this and I hope everybody else is too and well I guess uh, that's the end of my video have a wonderful day peace